the shelf break and slope off the northeastern coast of the United States supports a diverse variety of habitats, including more than 70 canyons ranging from approximately 100 meters to 3,500 meters in depth. But most of these canyons are poorly known, but many scientists and managers believe that these canyons are refuges for a variety of organisms, including deep sea corals, fishes, and a lot of other kinds of animals. So canyons have become a, an area of high interest, and NOAA is the primary federal agency mandated to conserve and manage the nation's marine resources, including deep sea coral habitats. And so all of the work that we've been doing uh, beginning in 2012 and including the 2013 Northeast U.S. Canyons Expedition on the Okeanos Explorer has been moving us forward to learn much more information about deep sea corals in the Northeast region. Deep sea corals provide a lot of structure. So not only are the corals themselves interesting organisms and ones that we need to know more about, but they also provide structure for a variety of other organisms, including fishes, shrimps, crabs, a variety of other invertebrates. During the expedition, we had many significant discoveries based on this high-definition ROV footage. We were able to get close-ups of organisms that we hadn't seen before, possibly new species. These include things like a nudibranch, solitary hydroids, various kinds of worms, probably new coral species. Being able to get close-ups of coral polyps is amazing. And this provides a lot of clues to the taxonomy of what these corals are. Having the ROV in the water also provides us the opportunity to be able to see a variety of behaviors, to see true colors of what these animals look like. We saw a large number of predation events, you know, ones that unless you were there, you wouldn't know that that happens. We saw several examples of parasitism. We had crab mating pairs and squid mating pairs. So all of these kinds of observations are only possible by having an ROV in the water and being able to examine animals in their natural habitat. You know, several of the canyons that we visited had had very little, if any, research done in them previously. We were able to go and really take a look. So based on uh, this expedition, we now have a much better idea of where suitable coral habitat occurs, but also where corals occur. And so now we can move some of those canyons from the category of may likely have corals to yes, we know corals occur there. Now all of this information is being fed to the fishery management councils. And the fishery management councils are working to come up with alternatives on uh, coral protection areas. And certainly having this much better information on where corals do occur will help them and help guide their decision making. So by conducting these expeditions and learning more about habitats that we know very little about, we are gathering very important information that will be used by our resource managers to make decisions on protecting and managing our natural resources.